To know what is the investable surplus seems to be a critical factor. How does one arrive at it? Your investable surplus is the money you do not need now or in the near future and is therefore available for long term investing. But to be sure that you do not touch this money, you need to take care of two important things in your life. First is to go and take a term insurance plan. This ensures that your family is protected in case anything happens to you. Second is to get a good medical insurance plan for you and your family. So that in case of any medical crisis, you still don't have to touch your investable surplus. If you don't have these two insurances with enough cover, then I would suggest that you stop listening to me and go and get yourself both these plans. After adding this insurance cost to your monthly expenses, you will arrive at your monthly savings, which is your monthly investable surplus. You also need an emergency fund, which is roughly 6 to 12 times your monthly expenses. This means that if you lose your job or you leave your job after having a showdown with your boss, you still have enough money to cover 6 to 12 months of expenses. Now add up all your savings and investments that you have today and keep aside the emergency fund. The money left with you is your lump sum investable surplus.